Hey guys, my name is Brian Fleming from buildingsocialproof.com. I got a great video for you today. I'm going to tell you guys how I'm using a dirt cheap outsourcer to do my dirty work and grow my Facebook page for me. It's uh, really good stuff. I know you're going to learn a lot from it on this video broadcast. Now, as always, I film these on an app called Periscope. And if you've never heard of it, you can go to the app store on your iPhone or Android phone. Yes, Ricky, I do use hashtags in my posts. Um, Lost my train of thought. Uh, yeah, Android phone, download Periscope, and you can follow me at Building Social. And then when I do one of these broadcasts, your phone, it tweets, and you can just hit a button and come right in live, ask me questions. It's a lot of fun. It's really cool. You guys should be using Periscope. And this topic, just so you know, I'm going to be going a lot deeper in it, guys. November 11th, 8 o'clock p.m., I'm having a workshop, and you can sign up for that. It's a Facebook Marketing 101. I'm going to be teaching you the basics of how to grow your business on Facebook, how to find your audience, how to boost your, uh, not boost your posts, we don't want to be doing that, how to get more people to see your fan page and just what really works to grow your business on Facebook and how to get people to buy, not just come to your website, but buy stuff. I'm going to be covering all that November 11th, 8 o'clock p.m. You guys can sign up for it. Just head over to buildingsocialproof.com. You can sign up, hang out with me. It'll be just an hour. I'm going to keep it only an hour, and I'm going to bring it and deliver you guys a lot of value. But what I want to talk to you about today is some great results I've been having with my Facebook page. Now, I've talked to you guys a lot before about this, and if you've watched some of my other videos, you know what makes Facebook work is three things. It's um, posting stuff people already liked. I mean, that's kind of a no-brainer. If somebody likes a post, we can post it to our Facebook page and our audience will like that sort of stuff. So we want to be doing that. We also want to be posting five to eight times a day. So you need to post often and you need to find good stuff to post. Well, what you can do is you can look at other people's pages, other people's Facebook fan pages that uh, are very popular and you can look at their top posts, the stuff that got the most shares, that got the most likes, the most um, uh, comments, all that stuff. And you can take their posts and simply put them on your Facebook page and guess what? Your fans are gonna like those posts too. It works awesome. So what kind of results have I had with it? Well, the Building Social Proof Facebook page has 1,200 likes on it, guys. I haven't done anything with it. Those likes just came from running ads. I didn't even try to grow the likes, but you know what? I didn't do anything with my page. It's just sat there. I post like a video to it once a week. And to give you guys an idea of where that page is at, it, out of those 1,200 people, it had a reach of like 50 people a week. It was nothing. It was dead. This page was dead as anything. So a lot of people asked, how do you get your people to see stuff on Facebook? And I started trying to revive this dead page. Well, that was about a month ago, I started this little project, and um, my last check, that same page that had 1,200 likes, it still has around 1,200 likes, um, uh, it now has almost, I think, 466 uh, was the reach last week. So it went from 50 people to 466 people a week, and I did it by doing just what I told you. I take other stuff that's popular on other people's Facebook pages, and I post them to my own page. Well, how does that work exactly? Well, people start liking and sharing this content and Facebook goes, ha, ah, building social proof. Your fan page, people really like your fan page. So now anything you post to it, we're gonna show to more people because my page is building up a higher affinity. That's the $5 word, guys, affinity toward my page. So now when I post those same videos, Instead of going to 10 or 15 people, they're going to 30, 40, 50, and 100 people every time I post them just by using this technique. But guess what? It takes a lot of time to do that. Post five to eight times a day and find good stuff. Well, the best I could do is I found some software to do it for me. But even operating this software, it still took me. I did a time study. There's my first tip for you guys. I did it myself, and I did a time study. For me to fill these posts up for a week, it took me 18 minutes to do it. 18 minutes, not a lot of time, right? But nevertheless, it's still 18 minutes. So I wanted to hire an outsourcer to do that. So what I did is I came up with a little sheet for her to fill in on the days and the times that she needs to post. I made a YouTube video on how to use the software, put it up on uh, upwork.com with a, with a job description. And within about two hours, I had 30 applicants. And I found this girl. Uh, she has over a thousand hours on ODESC, all five stars. 
She said she'll do it for three thirty-three an hour. Three thirty-three an hour, guys. I wrote crystal clear instructions for her on what to do. Now this only took me eighteen minutes. I'm not going to charge her an hour and, and be like that and say, "Hey, this only took you twenty minutes and you're charging me three dollars an hour." No, I'll be a super cool guy and just pay her her full three dollars and thirty-three cents to do the hour's worth of work. And you know what? She signed in today and she did it exactly how I wanted. She queued up this blog, or not blog, this Facebook page for the next week and I paid her her $3 to do that. I'm gonna pay her $3 a week to do this and guess what? I can have her do other people's Facebook pages too. I can have her use the same software now. If I wanna offer it as a service to my clients, I could do that, right? And just pay her her three bucks and, and she can do an hour's worth of work. I mean, she could probably do a couple sites in an hour. Uh, for three bucks and I can have all that done. So that's my tip today, guys, is to use an outsourcer to do these Facebook posts because if you want to grow your page, it does work, but it takes a lot of work. And the way to get around it is to use cheap, low-cost outsourcers. The trick is, is to do it yourself first so you know how much time it takes and to be very, very specific in the instructions you give them because if you leave anything to chance, they will totally screw it up. Another tip I told her is to only work for one hour and stop and then email me back so I could check her results. And she did a fabulous job, but you know what? Sometimes if you don't say that, these guys will go screw off for five or 10 hours and I'd have been into her for $30 and, and she would have just done nothing for me. So you, you, you kind of got to keep them at bay. Um, what I am going to do in the workshop is um, I'm going to offer out those, uh, the exact, uh, uh, thing I posted on Upwork, the YouTube video, the software, so you guys can just hand that. You can do the exact post on Upwork and get someone for $3 an hour to do this exact work for you so you don't have to mess around with it. And then your Facebook page will just grow. You won't even have to worry about it. You'll just post your regular content and this stuff will do the rest. So hopefully that helps you guys out. Hopefully it's a good tip uh, to help you with your Facebook page so it doesn't seem like so much work. I know... Um, uh, I know we're all starved on time and we really, it's a bad use of your time to be doing that. If you can pay someone $3 an hour to do it, come on, you shouldn't be doing that work. I shouldn't either. And I didn't. So anyway, hopefully it's a good tip guys. And I will talk to you again soon. Take care.